The Stadio Olimpico in Rome was buzzing with excitement and anticipation. The Atlanta and Genoa fans created an electric atmosphere that could be felt throughout the entire stadium. Flags waved vigorously, drums pounded rhythmically, and chants filled the air, creating a symphony of support. The stage was set for an exciting Serie A clash between two teams desperate for a win, each with their own unique motivations. Atlanta, known for their attacking flair and dynamic play, were looking to climb the table and secure a crucial victory. Genoa, battling relegation and fighting for survival, needed points to ease their worries and boost their morale. The tension was palpable as the players emerged from the tunnel, each step echoing their determination. The roar of the crowd was deafening, a testament to the passion and dedication of the fans. Both teams lined up, ready for the fight ahead, their faces reflecting focus and resolve. The referee blew his whistle to signal the start of the match, and the stadium erupted in cheers. The crowd erupted, their cheers echoing around the stadium, creating an unforgettable atmosphere. The battle for supremacy in Serie A was underway, with every pass, tackle and shot adding to the drama of the game. The opening minutes were a cagey affair. Both teams were cautious, sizing each other up. Atlanta, playing in their familiar 3-4-3 formation, looked to control possession. They moved the ball quickly, probing for any weaknesses in the Genoa defence. Genoa, opting for a more conservative 5-3-2, sat deep and absorbed the pressure. Genoa's game plan was clear, stay compact, frustrate Atlanta and hit them on the counter-attack. They looked to exploit the pace of their forwards, hoping to catch Atlanta's high defensive line off guard. The early exchanges were tense, with neither team wanting to make a costly mistake. The midfield battle was intense, a constant struggle for control. As the first half progressed, Atlanta started to impose themselves on the game. Their attacking trio of Muriel Zapata and Malinowski caused all sorts of problems for the Genoa defence. Their movement was fluid, their passing crisp, and their runs were intelligent. They were a constant threat. Atlanta came close to opening the scoring midway through the first half. A well-worked move down the left flank saw the ball fall to Zapata inside the box. He controlled it instantly and unleashed a powerful shot, only to be denied by a brilliant save from the Genoa goalkeeper. The crowd roared their approval, sensing a goal was coming. Genoa, despite being on the back foot, were still dangerous on the break. They defended resolutely and looked to release their speedy wingers whenever they won possession. One such counter-attack almost led to a goal. A quick passing move caught Atlanta out of position, and Genoa's striker found himself with only the goalkeeper to beat. However, Atlanta's goalkeeper had other ideas. He raced off his line and made himself big, spreading himself like a starfish. The striker's shot, low and hard, was brilliantly saved by the keeper's outstretched leg. The save drew gasps of admiration from both sets of fans. It was a crucial intervention keeping Atlanta in the game. The deadlock was finally broken just before halftime as Atlanta's pressure paid off. A free kick from the edge of the box was whipped into the Genoa penalty area. The ball evaded everyone and fell to the feet of Zapata, who made no mistake from close range. He smashed the ball into the net, sending the Atlanta fans wild with delight. The stadium erupted in a cacophony of noise. Atlanta's players celebrated with unbridled joy, knowing they had struck a crucial blow just before the break. The goal was no less than they deserved for their attacking endeavor. Genoa, on the other hand, were left to rue their missed chances. They now had a mountain to climb in the second half. Genoa came out fighting in the second half. They had to score, and they knew it. They pushed men forward, taking more risks. Their boldness was rewarded within minutes of the restart. A long ball over the top caught the Atlanta defence napping, and Genoa's striker raced clear. He kept his composure and slotted the ball past the onrushing goalkeeper. The goal, coming so soon after halftime, was a sucker punch for Atlanta. It seemed to knock the wind out of their sails. The momentum of the match had shifted. Genoa, void by their equaliser, grew in confidence. Atlanta, on the other hand, needed to regroup and find a way back into the game. Both managers made tactical changes in an attempt to gain the upper hand. 
Atlanta's coach brought on fresh legs in midfield, hoping to regain control of the game. Genoa's manager, sensing an opportunity, introduced a more attack-minded midfielder to support his lone striker. The second half was a much tighter affair. Both teams were wary of conceding again. The game became more tactical, a battle of wits between the two managers. Chances were at a premium as the defences held firm. The tension on the pitch was mirrored in the stands as both sets of fans rode every tackle and every pass. Section 8. A nail-biting finished chances and controversy. As the match entered the final minutes, the tension reached fever pitch. Both teams threw men forward in search of a winning goal. There were chances at both ends, near misses and last-ditch tackles. The crowd were on the edge of their seats, their nerves shredded. Controversy erupted late in the game when Atlanta had a goal disallowed for offside. Replays showed it was a marginal call, but the referee's decision stood. The Atlanta players and fans were incensed, their protests falling on deaf ears. It was a heartbreaking moment for Atlanta, who thought they had won the game. Section 9. The final whistle. Relief and frustration. The final whistle blew, signalling the end of a pulsating encounter that had fans on the edge of their seats. The score remained one-to-one, -one, a stalemate that reflected the intense battle on the pitch. It was a result that did little for either team's ambitions, leaving both sides with a sense of unfinished business. Atlanta were left to rue their missed opportunities and the controversial disallowed goal that could have changed the outcome. Genoa, though relieved to come away with a point, knew they needed to start winning games to avoid the looming threat of relegation. The players shook hands at the final whistle, their faces etched with a mixture of relief and frustration, a testament to the hard-fought nature of the match. The draw was a fair result but left both teams wanting more, knowing that a win had slipped through their fingers. The players trudged off the pitch, their bodies weary, their emotions drained, reflecting on what could have been. The fans, equally exhausted from the roller coaster ride, applauded their team's efforts, showing a mix of pride and disappointment. It had been a match full of drama, passion and controversy, with moments that would be talked about for days to come. It was a reminder of why we love football, a sport that brings out the highest highs and the lowest lows, uniting us in our shared passion. Section 10. Post-match reactions, players reflect on the draw. The match was a thrilling encounter, filled with moments of brilliance and near misses, leaving fans on the edge of their seats until the final whistle. In the post-match interviews, both managers acknowledged the intensity of the game. They spoke about the tactical battles and the physical demands placed on their players throughout the 90 minutes. Atlanta's coach expressed his disappointment at the result, believing his team deserved all three points. He highlighted the numerous opportunities his team created but ultimately failed to convert. He praised his players' attacking intent but lamented their missed chances. The coach emphasised the need for better finishing in future matches to secure victories. Genoa's manager was the happier of the two, admitting his team rode their luck at times but showed great character to earn a valuable point away from home. He commended his players for their resilience and determination, especially in the face of relentless pressure from Atlanta. The players, still buzzing from the adrenaline rush of the game, shared their thoughts on the match. They spoke about the highs and lows, the crucial moments and the overall experience of playing in such a competitive fixture. Atlanta's players were understandably frustrated, feeling they had done enough to win. They discussed the missed opportunities and the need to learn from this experience to improve in future games. Genoa's players, on the other hand, were content with a point, recognising the importance of avoiding defeat. They highlighted the significance of their defensive efforts and the teamwork that helped them secure the draw. Both sets of players acknowledged the quality of the opposition and the electric atmosphere created by the fans. They expressed gratitude for the support and looked forward to the next encounter, hoping to build on this performance. Section 11, a night of unforgettable drama in Serie A. The Atlanta versus Genoa match was a microcosm of everything that makes Serie A such a captivating league. It was a night of high-octane action, tactical intrigue and raw emotion. The draw did little to alter either team's league position, but it provided a spectacle that will live long in the memory of those who witnessed it. The fans went home happy, having witnessed a true footballing spectacle. 
It was a reminder that sometimes a draw can be just as exciting as a win.